All hey, right. uh, just in time for Foster Youth and San Diego Watercolor Society are teaming up for a special workshop today. Allie Wagner is in Grantville with details on how this will benefit Foster Youth. She is working on her art skills. Hi, Allie. <laughs> This is this is so relaxing. This work. You've done a lot of work, though. I haven't done very much. Am I doing okay? Yeah, you're doing all right. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep working on it. Very honest here this morning. I like that. I appreciate that. So let me come over and say hi to a few of my friends here. Nell, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good. And good. I have Caitlin, who is here from Just in Time this morning. And so, Nell from the. San Diego Watercolor Society. Tell me a little bit about how this partnership came together. Well, we've been we've been invited to partnership with Just in Time for Foster Youth in order to provide educational benefits to emerging artists. San Diego Watercolor Society has an outreach program where we've been going to elementary schools for years and provided art instruction for for teachers and and in the community. Mm -hmm. We have over 500 members and many of our members are teachers and and we're just thrilled to be able to get to the point where we can provide instruction to our our emerging artists in this community and we hope it goes on in the future yeah and so Caitlin tell me a little bit from your perspective because there's been a few workshops um, you were involved in just in time as a youth and now work here and so talk about the impacts that it's had on the individuals who are doing these workshops yeah so just in time serves nearly three thousand transition age foster youth a year and one of our main focuses is mental health and wellness and with the understanding that none of our youth are broken or damaged we're all creative resourceful and whole we are so grateful to the watercolor society for providing these workshops that help us heal um, from trauma through the creative arts for me personally painting has been so therapeutic it allows me to tell stories and express how I'm feeling um, and also let the world know about you know um, system impacted youth former foster youth um, and it's very empowering um, as well as healing yeah it looks like some beautiful pieces that you've been working on here and and talk a little bit about the art itself because a lot of the art that you're seeing here will end up up in the gallery right? yes we're having a special reception uh, we have monthly at the Liberty Station yeah. we have a reception for our members but this year this group has been invited to have a special show and reception in our gallery on June 2nd at 5 o'clock at Liberty Station at the San Diego Watercolor Society so we're really thrilled to be able to showcase their work to hang it on our walls we have a beautiful gallery and we get to expose the artists to a, a, a community of like-minded people who are going to encourage them and and help them find their way in arts if that's the way they'd like to go we're also providing free memberships where they have an opportunity to attend some of our workshops and and, and attend many of our events where we have lectures and and special kinds of things for them so we're really excited that they're going to be part of our community what a wonderful partnership and what beautiful art that they are working on this month um, very unique and, and cool pieces so guys we'll send things back over to you but we're happy to let you know all about what they are doing the work that they're doing Wow stylish I mean looks beautiful great way to help out yeah